Hey guys, welcome to another art journal video. I'm so so glad that you guys enjoyed my last art journal video so I'm definitely going to be making more unless something happens and I get really sick of them but I'm very very happy that you guys liked it and I'm really surprised that it actually surpassed views from my vlog that I uploaded on that same week because usually my vlogs do a lot better than my speed paint videos but uh, welcome, thank you again for watching and thank you for liking this video so i am currently at europe right now i'm probably in some country i don't exactly remember which one i will be in at this moment but i am away so i wanted to get something out for you guys some content out while i'm gone and i decided to do another art journal video obviously and like i said in the previous art journal video the content of these pages are not ex are not just going to be stuff that happens to me during the month i will definitely be doing monthly art journals that kind of cover the highlights of uh the month so last one i did august i'm going to be doing september next but i'm also going to be doing you know thoughts and ideas and ruminatings that i had that i want to get out kind of like a diary so for this one it's kind of open it's kind of all over the place but i really wanted to talk about or the things that I was thinking about like being busy and having time and having no time and having no energy so it's kind of all over the place but it's 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 a diary so I think that's okay um, and in the beginning you saw me using washi tapes Mo the washi tapes that I use for these two pages are actually my washi tapes I have sold out of the ones that are the fruit ones the I called them fruit run I sold out of those and I don't know if I'm going to reprint those but I do have more of my elephant parade washi tape that it, you can see at the very top of the screen right now i just wanted to make sure you guys know that it is all up in my store as well if you're interested in getting those so yeah and uh, this these spread actually these spreads actually have more writing compared to the previous one the previous one had more doodles and drawings but this one has more writing and as i was doing it i i felt like it was a bit more it became more of a storytelling spread rather than a diary because i knew i had an audience and if i was just working on a diary i wouldn't really have it all kind of connect together so even though i said it's all over the place there are some you know connecting threads of thought throughout the spread that i'm doing and and yeah it just became something like that it, i'm just like oh it's becoming kind of like a little zine where i'm talking about something to an audience and that's just the case of these art, how these art journals are going to be, I think, because I am sharing some thoughts with you guys. And I also felt like, as I was doing this, I also felt a little bit privileged because a lot of the thoughts um, for this one, and also probably in the future art journals, are going to be about just me. <laughs> so there's just going to be a lot of my thoughts, and some people might not, you know, agree with certain ones because because they have their own opinions so i'm ready for that if it ever gets to the point where a spread becomes just way too you know too um what do you call that what's that word where people just become too heated and they don't agree with what i'm talking about in the journal i'm just going to do my best to kind of keep at it because again it is an art journal it is the stuff that comes from my brain so i'm sorry if i offend anyone in this video or in the future videos i just want to make that clear that um, because the content is what it is, there is going to be some opinions in there. Anyway, uh, so I was also playing around with cameras here. So this is a different uh, view of the spread. I'm using my Sony camera here, and then for the regular one, I'm using an overhead camera. I don't know if you guys like that. Um, I'm not going to be doing it a lot. It's just like a nice little breakup of the um, editing so you don't get bored. But these videos aren't going to be very long anyway. I really enjoy seeing all the pages come together very quickly. And I've also experimented a little bit more, as you can see, with washi tape. But in the last page, I'm going to be experimenting more with like post-its and stickers. And it's just going to get even more creative. Well, even more experimental from there. And I really enjoyed doing that. And I hope you enjoy it too. So... Uh, yeah, it's just some thoughts about, you know, me being tired all the time and feeling like I just have no time to just stop and smell the roses. And I am definitely getting better with taking breaks and acknowledging the fact that I can get tired. I think as I get older, I'm not really that old. I'm turning 30 next year, which is, to me, is the new 20. Uh, 
I just sometimes if I just need to stop and sit down and be like, Joe, you need to take breaks. So lately, uh, weekends have been something that I have taken back because before I'd work throughout the weekend and just get really stressed out about like making content for everything that I have, all my social media. But it's been pretty good so far. I think I just wanted to vomit out all these thoughts in the journal because I have been quite busy for the last few months well the last few weeks because I am gearing up to leave for uh, vacation which is where I'm at, I'm at right now so I just wanted to get those thoughts out because I thought it would be because I have a lot of it so it would be a good you know amount of spreads in there and I if you've been following me for a long time I bet you're sick and tired of me talking about how tired and exhausted I am when you can just say joy just stop and just chill out and I think I am more chill out like I said I am taking back my weekends I am enjoying them a little bit more I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately just to relax and but there are some things that I'd like to get some time to do even if I have the weekends like I listed the three things on the right of the page there where I just want to sit down and kind of I used to do this a lot in high school because I had more time then. I would just sit down, go through, it wasn't even, like, it wasn't even YouTube back then. I was just going through, like, talking to people about what they were listening to, and I would download stuff from, from LimeWire and then put it in my MP3 player. We didn't, I didn't really have an iPod back then. So everything was in an MP3 player. I would sit down and just go through different albums on different genres. And then I also remembered during summer vacation in high school, there would be times where I didn't even know what day it was because I was just going through the motions every day. I was just reading books. I was just chilling out. And I also miss times when I can just drink coffee and work isn't attached to that. I'm hoping that's what I'm doing in Europe right now, just enjoying myself a cup of coffee and then chilling out and then going somewhere fun. So now we're doing the third page. I was debating whether or not to do a fourth page for this, but the three pages were enough for all of my thoughts. And at the top there, I'm using a Muji washi tape actually. It's not one of my washi tapes. And um, the device that you saw there was just like a, a glue thing. It's just, it's just like a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically just glue stuff together. And here I'm experimenting with post-its and I can't wait to try more things in the next few spreads. I'm excited for the next art journal. The next art journal video is definitely going to be stuff about my trip to Europe. So there's probably going to be a bunch of pages depending on, you know, all the thoughts that I have. Uh, I really wish I started this when I went to South Korea back in 2017 or was it 2018? I don't remember, but I remember I did start two pages of um, uh, art journaling when I was in South Korea, but I was doing them during the trip and my mistake was, I think that was my mistake. I was doing them during the trip instead of enjoying my trip. So this time I'm going to enjoy everything, take a little bit of notes, maybe put them on my phone or something and then when I get back that's when I'm going to sit down and draw everything out and that will I'm looking forward to that process to see how it works out for me I will be vlogging when I'm there and I'm still I don't know if I'm going to be share that be sharing that full Europe trip vlog on my public YouTube or I will be putting it behind Patreon I haven't decided yet but we will see maybe I'll take so much video that I will it will have to spill out on YouTube so We'll see what happens, but just so you know, I'm very excited to get that spread started. And a lot of you guys really enjoyed the last video and said you wanted to start your own art journal. I, I think you should, and we should do it all together. As you can see here, I'm kind of bumbling around. There's not really a, a set goal for every page that I'm doing. It's, it's not as structured as a bullet journal where, you know, every month there's a specific thing you want to draw, like a habit tracker, or like an inspiration tracker or something like that. So it's very open-ended and I'm kind of just experimenting with content and what I want to put and share for you guys because obviously I want to keep some stuff private but also want to share some personal stuff. And yeah, it's, it's all very early stages, beginnings, maybe by the 10th art journal, I have like a specific goal for every page. But right now, it's just all over the place. But I do hope you enjoy every everything because I enjoy making them, like I said. 
you also got you guys also said you really really like the doodles and I like those too so I'm doing a lot of doodles because those are the fun things but I'm also trying to balance having thoughts in there because it is a journal slash diary after all so here I am showing the spreads I made sure to show like the full pages because last time I felt like I was too zoomed in but yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope my babbling wasn't too fast and didn't make sense but thank you guys so much for watching these videos and i look forward to seeing you guys in the vlog or in the next art journal so have a great day bye guys